What you're looking at here is the same worksheet that we went over in the previous training video. The only thing that I did different was I widened the columns. And I did that because I want to go over the page orientation options of portrait and landscape. Because when you have too many columns or your columns are too wide and you print, it'll cut off the columns that can't squeeze onto page one. Now because I have additional rows and all of them can't fit onto page one, I think in an earlier training video we had the page break between Lance Boyle or Kyle Purple, somewhere around there. In any case, that all gets printed on page one, except the last two columns, those get cut off. But because it goes from top to bottom and then from left to right when it comes to printing the pages, it'll finish and go down here and print off the rest of the columns on page two and then on page three. It comes back up here and it says, oh, that's right, these columns were cut off, rate and gross. So I'll go ahead and put those on page three, and then we got cut off here around Lance Boyle and pull the rest of that information, rate and gross, onto page four. Well, let me show you. Let's come up here, click on File, go backstage, down to Print. Okay, there's page one. Let me go ahead and scroll down. And you can see we got a total of four pages. So the last two columns, rate and gross, got cut off. So because it goes from top to bottom, left to right, it continues down the rows, and let me scroll up, of what columns it could squeeze in onto page two, and then let me scroll down and go to page three, and then we have rate and gross finishing up on page three and then page four. Okay, that's not working for me. So what you can do is you can switch the orientations, and you get two choices. By default, it's in portrait. Let me go ahead and click back, and you can see the dashed line here as we discussed in an earlier training video, that that's the page break. And we'll talk about how you can adjust the page breaks in a later training video, but it's breaking and it's cutting off rate and gross. And it's doing it horizontally. Oh, there we go, right here between Lance Boyle and, oh, okay, and Singh. And so in any case, let me go ahead and scroll to the top. And you can see it going between G and H. And you can change the orientation either in the front stage view up here on page layout, and in the page setup group, there's orientation. Click on it, and the default's portraits. So you get more rows fit in vertically than you do get columns fit in horizontally, unless, of course, you want to go to landscape. You can make the change here, or, again, go backstage, file, down to print, and then make the change here. So if you scroll down, there's portrait orientation. Let's change that and go to landscape so we can squeeze in more columns, but we'll have less rows, and that's okay. So you can see we got in rate and gross. So when we go over to page two, hey, we only have two pages. It also fitted rate and gross there as well. And it fills up the entire page because remember we have less space vertically when we go to the landscape orientation option. So for this example with what I have, it fits. And if I go backstage and I go ahead and I shrink up the columns so they're not taking up so much space here. Then when I change it to portrait, well, you can see over here the page break in landscape is between K and L, so it can squeeze in a few extra columns. Or like I said, go ahead and click and drag it to shrink it back. And, well, you get more columns here. But if we come up here and change the orientation back to portrait, it will change the break line from between M and N, portrait, oh, right there between I and J. So it'll fit. I just have to squish these guys and tell them to, like, make room to bring everybody in that page break so I can do the portrait option. So when I go backstage, file, down to print, and scroll down how many pages, I get three. Why? Let's click next, next. And the reason being I get this blank page is because I didn't pull it in far enough. Let me hit back. When it kind of breaks, not enough to squeeze the data, you're talking like minuscule here. Let's go ahead and oh, bring it over. Double click really fast to do a best fit in between these column headers. And okay, Social Security is looking horrible, but let me double click to bring these in. And let me click and drag D out and bring Social Security out and see if we can't. Okay, do something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. Now, that should work because J is totally free. Totally. Let's go ahead and do File, go down to Print. And how many pages do I have? Two. Fabulous. Everything is squeezy wheezy into two pages. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.